It doesn't seem so long ago that I was on this very platform launching uh, a magnificent book, Health Law in Australia, which was written by eight uh, of uh, more than 15 academics of QUT who are really world experts, national and world experts in issues of health law. Eight of them contributed to that book and it, it has become uh, the first port of call. If you have a problem in Australia and you're a lawyer, to get your bearings, this book is one which really analyzes the issues of uh, the whole range of health care uh, in this country. Uh, and recently, when I had to address a conference on guardianship in Australia, my first port of call was to this book uh, published by uh, QUT. The approach of the centre is, I think, terrific. It is empirical. It's not just there dealing with words. It's looking at what actually happens, and that means going into healthcare facilities, going into hospitals, talking to distance uh, nurses and others to find out what actually happens on the ground. What does consent actually mean in practice, and what can we do to make it more real? Now, that involves empirical uh, examination of the facts. But as well as that, to be worthy of work in a university, it has to involve theory, it has to involve the past doctrines and the past laws, and it has to fit itself into the broader issues of public policy, and that means today, inescapably, the uh, public policies that involve the funding of the activities of health care. Uh, and uh, it's the interdisciplinary, empirical, doctrinal approach which I think will be a great strength of uh, the um, uh, Queensland University of Technology Health Law Research Centre which the Minister has launched tonight. So the critical mass is here, the distinction of the 15 scholars is certainly here, uh, the work has already a very strong uh, foundation in uh, the uh, research that has already been done and is revealed in the book Health Law in Australia, which is a magnificent uh, work. Uh, and I'm sure that we're going to see many publications, wonderful work for higher degrees. There is already an LLM in health law and uh, help to PhD students so that we send out from QUT uh, and this Health Law Research Centre, um, people who will be disciples, who bring the, um, the methodologies of the centre. And I thank QUT for this marvellous occasion. And I will be watching from afar the triumphs and successes. And from time to time, I hope I can come back and see what's been happening here. Thank you all very much. The centre is well and truly launched.